All right, in this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to make a little rocket. It's really easy, but it's really cool. Let me just zoom in. Look how simple it is. It's just a couple, just a box, just a couple rectangles. And so, let me just show you what it does. Oops. Okay, so I'm just going to show you how to make it. Let me start a new scene. Okay, so first, you just want to start off using just first make a little um, like a medium sized rectangle about this big, and then make another rectangle about this big. And before you start doing anything, go to options and under interface, make sure that advanced mode is selected because if you don't do that, it will it won't work. All right? Then on um, click on the smaller rectangle, and then go to script menu. And then just copy and paste the scripting that I'm going to put on the description. Um, and uh, so, yeah. And then make sure you click enter. So, don't forget to click enter, otherwise, it won't work. And then, before you start the simulation, before you start it, make sure that collision on the, under the small box and then under collision menu that um, collides with water is deselected. Otherwise, if you don't do that, your phone is going to crash. And then you're just going to have to restart the program. So, basically, what that scripting means is that when this small object right here, when this object, when it collides with anything, it creates water particles. So, watch. See? Really cool. Alright, and now, just get this object, fixate it to the bigger rectangle, and now, uh, now get another rectangle put it here um, make, give it a center hinge I'm going to make the center hinge a little bit smaller motor strength infinity motor speed 600 auto brake and then the forward key just make it uh, right um, and then back key left and you don't need brake key Wait, did I, did I, um, oh yeah, don't forget to do auto break, by the way. Okay, and now, just on the, now I'll click on the big rectangle, and under material, just under attraction, just double click it until it highlights the value, and just put a negative sign, and then put a value. I usually put around 300, that, that works, okay. Now just click enter and your rocket set. That's all you have to do. Oh, oh yeah, and before you start the simulation, on the big rectangle, under collision menu, deselect collision group A and select collision group G or any other one except A. I usually put G. So now, when you click one of your um, directional keys, look what happens. Let me just zoom out and... So basically how it works is when this, when this object right here, when it starts spinning, it collides with this object. And in the script menu on, on this object, we put that if anything collides with it, then it's going to create water, par water particles, right? And then on this object, we put, we made it so that it repels anything in its collision group and water. So basically, it's just repelling water, and that's just what makes it propel up. So that's about it, and you can do many things with this. What'll I, I, you can, it, it can act as an engine, or it can just, it can, you can just have it as a rocket. So I'm just gonna make something for you really quickly. So I just made a quick little rocket car. I just put my engine on top and just fixated it to the to the car, and so now look what happens when I click when I start it. See, it's lagging a little bit. My computer's not that fast, but it's pretty cool. So that's about it for this tutorial. I hope you like. I hope you like it.